Hey everyone, it's Morgan, and I got my boxy charm for the month of July. So let's see what I have. Now I have opened it. I did peek because I cannot help myself. I got it a couple days ago. Um, it did actually have this in it. It wasn't really like protecting much of anything. Also, it came to me kind of like damaged a little bit. Like, come on. Usually they're better than that, but clearly they didn't like me today or yesterday or the day before, whatever day it was. They didn't like me and that's apparent there. Okay, moving on. Here's a peek of what the items are. So the choices sucked and I think that the choices, the choices for next month suck because I don't like them, <laughs> that's why. Uh, for next month I did pick, I think I picked, I don't know if it went through or not, that's why I'm like, eh, maybe I did, but maybe I didn't, whatever. But if I did pick it, it is the Glow Recipe one that I already said sucked and it was like waxy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it another chance. I'm gonna try the product if I get that one that is and see if that is just because it was a sample size and that's why it sucked so bad. Cause it was like waxy, ew. Um, anyway, and if I don't like it then like my mom will get it for Christmas, whatever. Whatever, do what I want, it's my product. Okay, sorry, I need help. Um, anyway, the item that was for this month's choice was this. I really didn't like either of the choices, so I basically said, you pick it for me. And they picked this. So, this is the Stack the Odds. Okay, this is the reason why I don't like the choice for next month. This is a face palette. It's a face palette. So why is there a face palette for the next month's choice? These are uh, cream, which I'm never gonna use. The other ones aren't, which I would more likely use, but I still don't like them. Like, more choices, more items, please. Give us like three to five items to look at and pick one of them. We don't need to pick more than one, but like, ugh, I don't know. And like, eh, I don't know, I can't talk. Anyway, some people like this, some people don't. I am one that doesn't. I can show you what it looks like. I'm gonna give this to my sister-in-law because I know my sister won't use this. It is really cute packaging though. I mean, she has cute packaging. So this is the uh, highlighter and it does have a mirror. And then it opens this way and you get the blush. I'm really trying to be careful. And then you have the bronzer. I don't like this stuff. It is really cute packaging though, like I love that. But anyway, so this is going to my sister-in-law. It's nice to have someone I can give it to. That is uh, $38 overpriced in my opinion. I don't think that would be worth more than $20. I dropped the car. That's how crazy that price is. Like, I do half of that price. Anyway, so this is my no for the box. Okay, uh, the next item is the only skincare item I got, which is kind of a bummer because I'm, like, the only one that actually likes the skincare when I get it. But I'm not really into oils, and that's what I got. So I do have to say that um, this is a renewal oil, and it's, like, a dry oil kind of thing. So it's not supposed to leave you like really oily because that's what I don't like. Um, and I do have a dry spot on my arm, hand right here, where I like to put the oils that I do get because I don't use it really that much. And it helps for like a little bit, but I have a dry patch. Does anyone have a dry patch? Like look right there, you can see the different, different color. I must have burnt myself years ago and I don't know why, but it never, it never softens. I've used files for it, I've used lotion, I've used oils. This hair just, just doesn't want to get soft. It's very sad. Like it's a, it's constant pain that I have to deal with when I look down and look at my ugly hand. I also have old age spots or whatever, skin spots. Does anyone know how to fix that? I'm gonna start crying. I'm a really good actress, but really I'm serious. Like if anyone knows like tell me hook me up 
with products that are affordable, by the way. Don't tell me something that's like $150, because yeah, that would work if you had the money. <laughs> like 25 and under, if anyone knows how to get rid of those spots, because they're just ugly. I just don't like looking at them. So anyway, moving on, sorry. This is a fig oil renewal. It's dry. It's supposed to make you really soft, plumpy. And if I use it, I'll use it very little bit at a time. It is so cute though. Right. Skincare knows how to make their packaging pretty. By the way, this is $72, $72. Come on, come on. It's not even full for $72, what? I'm just kidding, but um, that's what it looks like. Like a little, I don't know, this is, I find gold, unless it's real gold, to be like cheap. It doesn't smell all that great, but it's oil, so whatever. Anyway, I'm happy to get it, whatever. It's just not, I mean, it's pretty. I like the packaging minus the gold. And it has figs in it, so you can see, can you see the fig? So anyway, I will eventually use this, and I have a few other serums, though, and oils and stuff. So this will eventually get pulled in, but it will wait for a while. And what was that price? That was $72. I just remembered. Outrageous. Next item was kind of one that I was not wanting to get, but there was other items that were worse than this. This is the... It already has hair on it. Jeez. Anyway, this is the double uh, liquid eyeshadow from Beauty Crop. It is $18. Uh, what can I say about it? It is not my favorite thing because these don't look good on me. I don't know how to use them. I have hooded eyes, I guess. So, like, if I put it here, it will pop up here and it's freaking annoying. But. That's what my wipes are for. So I will eventually try this. And if I don't like it, again, my sister would like it. So I usually give these to my sister anyway. So I will try them once. And if I don't like it, off to Riri you go. Anyway, um, I think this is in Ginger and Prosecco. So, yeah. It's okay. It's $18, I think. Yeah, $18. I think that is actually pretty reasonable. I mean, for something I don't like. Because you get one of these liquid eyeshadows, and they're about 20 bucks, 18 whatever, $10, I don't know. So the fact that you get two for under 20 that's pretty cool. Next item I've seen a couple people get, and it's these beautiful brushes. I'm not going to take them out of the pack yet, because I am weeding out my other brushes, and I don't want to put this in there yet. Because... I'm downsizing and then I'll use these but I definitely always have room for like eye brushes the face brushes are what I have too many of in my opinion anyway these are really cute Eloise they kind of remind me of my unicorn ones I got my sister um, a big unicorn brush like that from Dollar Tree so I'm really happy about that okay now that was $22 I don't think I would pay $22 for these brushes. There's only four of them. But they are really cute. Last item. I was so surprised because I literally have seen everyone's, like a lot of people's videos. I mean, I know there's a lot more that I need to watch. But um, I didn't see this. Of course, it's loud. I live near a freeway. But I didn't see this in anyone's, so... I got a Natasha Denona palette. Cupid palette. I got the Cupid palette. Now, I already have a few of her palettes. I think I have three of them. Well, three now. I have the Peak palette, which is oranges, which I like. Uh, I have the Smoky palette, which I really have not used before. And now I have this beautiful red toned one. Burgundy color one. Of course, I'm upside down. Are you kidding me? I'm so excited about this. Like, I think she's overpriced and a little bit overhyped, in my humble opinion, because I am poor and cheap. 
but getting it for her in a box that I pay like about 30 bucks for, no brainer, I'm excited. So, especially since this wasn't like a choice, this wasn't anything, this was like a surprise, and a really good surprise actually. So, I guess I can swatch them for you. I have not touched them yet. I mean, I looked, but I didn't touch. <laughs> It's only half cheating if you look and don't touch. Okay, not trying to get in trouble, people. So I'm gonna hand sanitize myself because I don't want my oily little mitts ruining it. And I've ruined palettes before because I usually use just my hands, so. Okay. So. The names are Clove Shell. Monroe, Nude, Vin Vino, and something I can't read because it's very tiny. Okay, so let's do the two. Uh, okay, I do have to say this is moving around a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if it falls out. And then, yeah, both of them. They're like really not in there all that great. They're moving around. See? So. But, look at that. So pretty. That's like so pretty. Okay. Let's do the mats. Yeah, they're all shaking, so... I'm just hoping they don't break. But I will nicely put it in here, and I do have to say I like the case, how thick it is. So hopefully, you know, nothing bad happens. I do have to say I was hoping that the um, mats would be a little bit better looking. But these are so beautiful that this doesn't even matter. Because this, you can like keep on putting on and then put that on top. And it fixes the whole thing. So, are these two colors worth $48? Probably not. But, you could mix and match with all your palettes. So, and again, it might just be a crappy swatch. Maybe I'll do another one, you know? Give it a little bit of more of a chance. So, I'll do a few of these sweepies. It is a little bit, uh, if you can see kind of broke a little bit, but that's okay, I don't care. Okay. Okay, so those are actually them darker now. So you definitely can work with that way better than those swatches. So anyway, what do you think about my products? I think that like was awesome. So surprised about this one because again, I did not see this in anyone's box that I that I've seen. I saw a lot of Kate Somerville and some other palettes and stuff, uh, but not this one. So I'm excited. Again, I would probably rate this four out of five because even though I wasn't like all totally interested in this, it's still really nice. I could use this as a base and then pop these on top. I probably will do that. This is the only thing that was a eh for me, but I know that someone, and hopefully my sister-in-law, will like it. So, again, um, I actually already calculated my box, and it's 198. I've seen some people's with like 200 something, but I'm actually pretty happy with this. Like I said, it doesn't really matter at the price. I mean, I want I want as close to 200 as I can get, but it's more about the quality of the product and if I like it or not. And sometimes things like that oil could mark it up all the way to 290 or 190. Is it really worth 72 dollars? We will find out, and I will tell you what I think about the products. But um, that will be a future video. But. I definitely will use, um, do an eye look with this stuff in a couple weeks and try the oil as well in a couple weeks and see what we think about that. But, um, 
I think it was a pretty good month compared to everyone else's. Like, I'm actually happy about my stuff. Not liking one product is great. <laughs> so, anyway. Thank you for watching. Like if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. And leave a comment. Any comment. A positive comment, maybe. Or maybe tell me why you're, you think I'm wrong about not liking, you know, Kate Somerville. You know, something. Anyway, have a good day. I need to wash my hands now. Bye.